Hello everybody, it's Luke and I'm back again for another reaction video. It has been a very long time since I have been sat here making videos for you lovely people. And we are finally back. Um, so, we're better to pick pick up where we left off with than with Gimme Gimme Gimme. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk too much because it's been such a long time. I just want to get straight into this. So, this is uh, Series 2, Episode 2. Stiff! Interesting title. Um, I've had a little play around with the settings in OBS. Uh, hopefully, I'm not going to sound as loud. I, I'm sorry, guys. It's not my fault. I've been trying to sort it out. Hopefully, I'll sound better this time. I've moved the mic a bit far away as, as well. Uh, but if it, if it doesn't fix it this time, then I'm just going to have to buy a new mic. But you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to have to save up for that. I don't exactly have 50, 60 quid to drop on a new mic just in my pocket. And that's how much I am going to have to spend because... I need to get a better mic than this piece of shit Amazon mic that I got for like 20 quid in June. So, yeah. Uh, bear with me, guys. It will be sorted. But, you know, there's only like one or two of you complaining. Everybody else just appreciates the content for what it is, you know, because you, you're good people. Uh, but, yeah, let's get on with this. So, please, if you enjoy this, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And do check out the Patreon because this is a, a new channel. I lost my old channel. And this is a, a channel that a friend is hosting me on. Uh, so if you join the Patreon, we can all stick together and you're guaranteed to keep see all my content there. Because this channel's probably going to get blocked as well one day when it gets bigger, if it gets bigger. So yeah, join the Patreon. It's $2 a month, very cheap. Uh, let's go. that you galumping great gibbon. <laughs> I don't hold this door open as a hobby, you know. Come on, come on. Right, old Jerosis, what's the array? There were two nuns in a phone box out on the street. Oh, no, lesbos. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid horse. You know very well that nuns in the street means bad luck. Now, give me the keys. Does it? <gasps> oh, my God. Linda, look, look, look. We've been burgled. Oh, my God, I'm having a panic attack. Calm <laughs> oh, down. I probably forgot to lock the door on me way out. Now, come on, me fish pie story. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hi, Nibs. Have you heard any Nibs. strange sounds coming from our flat? I did hear a certain amount of humping around. Just thought you two have finally got it together. Oh! Uh, no. I you I've been taking Viagra, so it is possible that I'm hallucinating. <laughs> oh, my God, I am! A blouse! It's freaking me out. <laughs> Freak out? <laughs> <laughs> La freak, c'est chic. <laughs> Linda is too much. La freak, c'est chic. <laughs> oh, got it together. What's that? No, oh, no. <laughs> oh, there was no eggs in that bag. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Okay, how's the lounge diner? It's fine, apart from the dirty great big coffin in the middle of the room. <laughs> I wonder who left that there. <gasps> it's those nuns. What? Every time I see nuns, this happens. What? God, it's those nuns, it's those nuns, it's those nuns, it's those nuns. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> You're very eerily at ease around death, aren't you, Lindy? Hmm? What's that all about? Oh, I know, it's because you saw your mother, isn't it? Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. It's very distressing, actually. She wanted to be buried to Elvis, you know, the music. <laughs> Only the funeral director got it wrong, buried her as Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Pull her in his Las Vegas gear, you know. Big quiff, the shades. Even got the pout. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Even got the pout. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> well, we're going to have to look, aren't we? We're going to have to look. Right, OK. Oh, it's got a cover on it. I don't think that I can. I don't think that I can. I don't think that I can. I don't think... Oh! <laughs> Calm down, Tom. Now, you'll be all right with me. Hold my hand. Okay. 
Oh, what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> that'd be me. That'd be me. I'd be like, oh, what are you gonna do with my hand? Oh, do <laughs> <laughs> you die it's just like slipping into another room is it wait a minute hold on uh, bear with me guys one sec one sec one sec oh wait no you, you can see me I'm, do, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in the right frame okay that'll do yeah yes another room where you are dead <laughs> come on Oh god, I just remembered something! What? We forgot to buy Pringles! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh, look, it's a woman. Look at the shoes. Oh. <gasps> wonder who it is. I wonder who it is. Eddie Izzard? <laughs> if Eddie Izzard was dead, which I very much doubt, what would he be doing laid out in our living room? Well, he's quite surreal. <laughs> Yeah, he is. He's, he's fucking weird, that bloke. Where did become? Where did becoming an MP come from with Eddie Izzard? What the fuck's that all about? Out of nowhere. Mind you, you know. Uh, no comment. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm suddenly become very aware of a certain new policy on YouTube concerning people like that, so I'll just keep my mouth shut. Put the hanky off her face. Here, yeah, I should call upon my spirit guide, Madame Cholet, to aid me in this revelation. <laughs> I will let her hands guide my hands. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what? Ooh. What are you doing? Ooh. Well, bugger me in Burnley, it's better than <laughs> landlady. Cobwebs on her cat flap. <laughs> yeah, she looks great, didn't she? <laughs> that joke could have been ten times better if you just said pussy flap. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. She, yeah. that makeup's fair. Very good. <laughs> They're experts. Compliment in a dead you know, person's makeup. Comes and they all go and do corpses. <laughs> Yeah. True. You're probably looking at the handiwork of the chief makeup designer on a passage to India. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how she. I wonder how she. went. Mm. Well, far be it from me to cast aspersions, but she did have a lot of sexual partners. <laughs> she's been down that clap clinic that often, she's got a strain of gonorrhea named after her. <laughs> Maybe it was clap that took her. Nah, the clap's really painful. She looks dead happy. Mm. Well, I've seen her happier. <laughs> yeah. How does that... What? When a person's dead, they don't look like the disease that they died from was painful. You know, you're dead. You... All the colours out your face. <laughs> oh, whatever, Linda. When Lady Di died, they had a book of condolence down the happy shopper. <laughs> No, I don't think it would be appropriate. She used to shoplift there. Oh. Probably got a packet of giblets tucked down her blouse as we speak. Here, what? let's say something nice about her. Shall we? Oh, oh that's uncharacteristically lovely of you. Pray do. <laughs> <clears throat> Up in heaven a star is shining. Down on earth my heart is whining. Save a place at Jesus' table. <coughs> I'll be with you. When I'm able. <laughs> okay, do you know what? That was really nice. The intention of that is very nice. Quite sweet. <laughs> but... <laughs> Maybe if it was the Archbishop of Canterbury saying it at a funeral. And he was reading it off a piece of paper and it was like a, a little girl who'd wrote it. But... <laughs> When it's Linda, it's, it's different. <laughs> Where did that come from? I feel quite nauseous now. <laughs> it's Mummy's Reef, a jar of Valium made out of midnight roses. Oh. I had somebody write that on the card. Mm. Do you know I could murder a brandy now? Wet the baby's head. Yes. Good idea. Oh, no. God. That's us Brits. When someone dies, we drink. I feel so numb. 
People say that, don't they? They say, I've just heard that so-and-so's died and I just went completely numb. <laughs> Must hold on to this feeling. Never know when I might be called upon to use it in, say, an episode of Midsummer Murders or something. <laughs> I'm a geography teacher in specs. And, uh, Mind you, if you need to hold on to feelings like that to be a better actor than you're a terrible actor, you should just be able to act those feelings straight off the bat. I can. He must be a terrible actor if that's what if that's if if those are the kind of things he's resorting to doing, then mm mm. We're on a camping trip, and one you of my just students be able just to do down a crevice a so feeling. I get a visit from Bergerac, and he says, It's bad news, I'm afraid. <laughs> Demi's dead. And I say, Oh, I feel so numb. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Shock's a funny thing, you know. When Mummy died, Daddy was found in a skit with a pair of her pants on his face, singing, I who have nothing. <laughs> It brought shame to the family. <laughs> what I want to know is why. Well, he was tone deaf. No, no, no. no. <laughs> why? Well, I don't know. Here. What? I'm going to touch her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's very, very disrespectful. Okay. That's very brave of you. Courage. That's not brave. Courage. It's disgusting. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You're very fearless. You're an inspiration. Mm -hmm. No, she. Fucking twat whip, cunt, cunt whistle. It's <laughs> That's that doorbell, you stupid red oaks! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone who can throw some light on this situation. Go and see who it is. Go on. <laughs> oh, Tom Doe, I thought better of you. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant to touch your hand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. You know that I'm gay, though, anyway, don't you? Yes. <laughs> you can't just forget that just because you're dead. I'm gay, all right? <laughs> I'm gay, OK? <laughs> Save your breath, man. It's too late to come out to her now. Thomas, this is the uh, funeral director. Oh, hello. Bob Hobbs. <laughs> Sorry we have to meet under such circumstances. It... Bob Hobbs! It's far nicer to meet in holiday destinations or public houses, don't you agree? <laughs> Discos? I prefer Pringles. Oh, we forgot to buy any! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we're all a little bit shell-shocked now. I uh, do have a seat, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, the death of a loved one can be quite traumatic, apparently. Grown men weep. Dwarves collapse. <laughs> I'm, um, sorry if we seem a little distracted, Mr. Hobbs. We had no idea that she died. I'm surprised the coffin wasn't a giveaway. <laughs> anyway, I was just passing. I thought I'd pop by and see everything was in order with, um... Oh, damn. What was her name? Beryl. Oh, I've had oh. a lot on my mind lately, yeah. Would a drop of brandy help? Yeah, it's far too late for that. <laughs> so when's the funeral? I mean, I'm assuming there is going to be a funeral, and we can't just have this knocking about like some embarrassing old heirloom. Never mind. <laughs> It'll be Auntie Leone's lava lamp all over again. <laughs> I mean, you don't know when the funeral is? No. <laughs> I can't tell you how encouraging it is to meet people as forgetful as myself. No, 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 I'm not forgetful. We just don't know why she's here. Oh, oh, I see. I've, I've, uh, I've left all the paperwork in the Volkswagen camper. Yeah, I use it as a... Uh... Hearse? Do I? That's outrageous! <laughs> no, I know. Run around, yeah. Use it as a run around. Yeah, we toyed with the idea of downsizing the hearses, but the camper van was seen as a little tacky. Yeah. <laughs> Wife's got a couple of stickers up in the back window boasting of certain beauty spots we've visited over the years. <laughs> I mean, who wants to be reminded of the gaping gill when you're burying your mother? <laughs> uh, how the log flumes at Alton Towers. <laughs> Why have you laid her out here? Why downstairs? Yeah, we always lay... Uh, uh... <clears throat> the body out downstairs. The punters seem to like it. I mean, who wants to stiff in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> anyway, how did you get in? I mean, we didn't let you in. We've been out all day. We come back to this. It's all rather bizarre, isn't it? It's like some crazy TV show set up. Mm. That's because it is. <gasps> Smile, you're on candid camera. No! Really? Really? No! I knew there was something fishy about this. Oh, no, I hope I can swear. Oh, Mr. Robs, my mouth when I get going. I come out with all sorts. <laughs> Is this the camera? Is this the camera? Is this the camera? <laughs> oh, Baron, it's all right. Come on. You can get up now. We know it's a trick. Come on. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You 
should have seen the look. Is he taking the piss? Who the fuck gave him a job as a fucking funeral director? God, your face is. Oh, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> what do you mean we ain't gonna be on the telly? <laughs> Oh, but I'm glad, actually. No, I am glad. I mean, they do say the TV puts six pounds on you and I'm practically anorexic. <laughs> so who did bloody let you in, then? <laughs> oh. Maybe someone gave us a key. Ah, that would explain this. Yeah. I wonder what that was. Maybe somebody gave you a key and you can't remember who that was. Fantastic. Well, who else are we supposed to tell about this? Well, it's traditional to tell family and friends. I mean, you can tell a complete stranger, but they don't often give a... Shit. ...donation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. See you with the funeral. Right, OK, no, that way, that way. What? That way. Oh, right, yes. that oh way. my God. Don't even know how to get out of the fucking house. Well, what are we going to do with this? Might be the worst one, putting your feet in a coffin. I love this program. This is televisual brilliance at its best. It's bad enough when you do that with somebody's coffee table, but that's a coffin. You can keep your R friends in the north. You can keep your I Claudia I, I Linda. <laughs> you cannot beat a good through the keyhole. <laughs> a what? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Something wrong. You're very quiet. I don't. I don't know what that is, guys. Our friends in the north. Or the I or the I I were it? <laughs> and through the key, I don't know what they are. What? Was telling Jez and Sue's earlier. Brought it all back to me. Beryl's dead, Tom. It always happens to me. Every time I get close to somebody, they end up in one of these. <laughs> Wince. You didn't get close to her. <laughs> you haven't spoke to her. When was the last time they spoke to Beryl? Oh, it was at a wedding. Oh no, not the first episode. Wait, wow. Yeah, the first episode of this series, Sugar came back. And. Uh, Oh no, that's series one. When they do it, when Linda's doing Beryl's dress, that's the first series, not the second series. Fucking hell, I got mixed up then. Um, so was Beryl in the first episode? Because if she wasn't, then that that'd explain this. Oh well, never mind. Sorry. Wincy Willis? Wincy Willis? Who the bloody hell is Wincy Willis? <laughs> it's like Wendy Strokes in Boston. I said to her, I said, you're my new best friend. I'm going to be by your side for the rest of your life. Oh. 20 minutes later, hang herself. <laughs> oi, oi. Oh, my God. That's awful. It's like the episode when she got sacked. Every time I bent over that photocopier, there was a mass exodus to the bogs. Now, what does that tell you? <laughs> Do you know who Wincy Willis is? Oh, I told you he'd say something inappropriate. <laughs> Where is she? She's over there, blubbering her little eyes out. Uh -huh. Have you no respect for the dead? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm really unhappy, actually. Teetering on the brink of gloominess over here. Really? I only saw her two weeks ago. She was going for a loaf. She was so full of life, Linda. Life! <laughs> Don't look at me. I didn't kill her. <laughs> I've got witnesses, and this time they're good ones. <laughs> I saw her last week when I was out buying my Viagra. <laughs> she told me she was going on a long journey. <gasps> yeah. 
Maybe she topped herself. Oh, and what would you two care? You hated her. Excuse me, but we were always having her down here doing things for us. Yeah, I'd never ask an old lady to be a draft excluder. <laughs> <laughs> it was windy. <laughs> <laughs> she loved you two so much, and all you ever did was treat her like shit. That's... <laughs> Some home truths coming to roost. Libeler. <laughs> did they ask her to be a draft excluder? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing that in my head. Uh, see, it was Linda who asked her, Ear Beryl. Lie <laughs> 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 right down in that doorway. <laughs> Let's get me some more brandy. <coughs> you certainly wouldn't use it as a coffee table. <laughs> it's an occasional table. Look at the serious Occasionally it's a table, and occasionally it's a coffin. OK. Yeah, and anyway, you two were hardly our number one fans. Mm. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, she was a second-rate has-been hooker. <gasps> <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm in shock. I mean, Beryl was our landlady. Exactly. Which makes us... Tenants. Um, homeless. homeless. <laughs> well, the selfish little bitch! <laughs> I never thought of that though. Yeah, she's the landlady. And she's dead, so they're homeless. How dare she commit suicide and leave us destitute? How dare she? Oh, we don't know that for sure. Yes, she would have left a note, surely. Do you have keys to her flat? Keys? Have I got keys? Do I look like a keysy type of person? But there might keys? be a clue up there. <laughs> Someone will have to break in. I can't. I'm middle class. I used to have ponies. <laughs> Had to be surgically removed from one of them. What? Actually, I don't want to know. Linda, you'll have to do it. <laughs> Come on. Cheeky bitch! <laughs> also, she's about as middle class as Rabsy fucking Nisbet. Let's just get that straight, shall we? Ow. Well, I wonder who lives in a house like this. <laughs> David, it's over to you. <laughs> David, it's over to you. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I've got whiskey. You know, this is very good for shock, you know, which is good because I didn't realise quite how shocked I was. <laughs> you mean you didn't realise how pissed you was? Wait, John, Johnny Walker Black Label? Never had that. Never had that. Don't know if it's good or bad. I know there's some decent Johnny Walkers. There's like a platinum label. My granddad's got a bottle of that. Uh, but the. Is there. I think there's a yellow one, a black one. Is there a white one as well? I've never tried any Johnny Walkers. Hmm. Mind you, I'm a bourbon guy. I'm not a Scotch guy, really, apart from Glenfiddich Green. Highland Park, Viking Pride, and Glenmorangie, a very specific one, like, like the, a special one, that's about it really. <laughs> oh, and Grant's, I don't mind Grant's, even though it's cheap, I do like the taste of Grant's, but only if, well actually I've only had it a couple of times. What are you doing, what are you looking for? Well I don't know, a suicide note, a will, anything. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Linda, are you stealing things? Yeah. That's out of order. That's really out of order. Oh, shut up. It's traditional to nick things out of dead people's houses. <laughs> Is it? Must have missed that I tradition. I often pictured my own funeral celebrations. A crisp autumnal morning, the hallowed dome of St Paul's, a reading by Sir Simon Shepherd. <laughs> I don't think you should have any more of that. What? You're pissed. Yeah. Here, look at this. Dirty bitch. <laughs> pissed. pissed? I'm not pissed. You are. I don't even know the meaning of the word pissed. <laughs> well, pardon me if I'm just a little bit emotional, right? What the?
bœuf. Ah Shut up, you tart! <laughs> oh, it falls in our face. She looks great. Mm, that Viagra is really taking effect, isn't it, Jess? Well, oh, I'm a good girl, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I did it with the dancing, you know me. Ah, I'm a good girl, I am. <laughs> what Shall was that? Downstairs and slip into something see-through. Please. Catch a barrel. Ooh, they're about to get freaky downstairs. <laughs> see-through. So, uh... No. You feeling a little frisky, Jace? This is Viagra I'm on. I've been drawn to the strangest things. <laughs> Jez? Oh, Jez. Oh, Dom. Have you ever seen that film, Basic Instinct? <laughs> uh, no. What about There's Something About Mary? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'd better go order a wreath or something. I... Yeah. Oh. What about your Viagra What's It? It seems to be wearing off. He <laughs> 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 liked it. <laughs> I don't want to be homeless, Lindy. Neither do I. Then listen to my plan. What say we pretend that Beryl's body was never here at all? That she's just disappeared? That she's never died? Hmm? Then we could keep this flat all to ourselves. That's a dreadful idea, Tom. Yeah. It goes completely against my Catholic teachings. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, the garden's big enough for a makeshift grave. Yes. <laughs> and that funeral director who's got the memory capacity of a goldfish, when he comes back, we could all be like Stepford wives and just go, What dead body, Mr. Hobbs? What dead body, Mr. Hobbs? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 because somebody organised the body being here, didn't they? Gonna... This is a very rare occasion where Linda is the logical one out of the two. Talk about first time for everything. I have to face it, Tom, we're out in our ear. Well, what am I saying? She's probably left a will. I mean, maybe this whole house is ours. <sighs> Wake up and smell that coffee, Linda. <laughs> she actually smell it! Scary witch. <laughs> you scary witch. Who the fuck's this? Nipples. They've got a mind of their own. <laughs> I'm look for Beryl. I'm 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 can't believe she has gone. Oh, wait there a second. <laughs> yes, but who is he? I don't know. But whoever he is, he's bloody gorgeous. Really? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least these two have got their. Uh, yeah. No! Get out! Get out! Get out! No! 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 <laughs> Would you like to slip in? <laughs> you just got this. Uh, we were just uh, making everything just just so. <laughs> <laughs> you are good people. You're a good people. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, baby. <laughs> um, I'm Tom, by the way. Hello, Tom, by the way. <laughs> Pedro Mano Fernandez de San Pastillo. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Just the way I like it. 
You come with me, Pedro. <coughs> Cora, you taught. Where is she? Where is my Betty? You want to see Beryl? Yeah? You want to see Beryl? Here she is! <laughs> <laughs> How can this be? How can this be? Oh, mi cariño. Oh, mi cariño. How does this happen? Tell me, Lindy. Tell me, Tom, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually calling him that. Tom, by the way. <laughs> also, what's going on here? Is it his grandma? Or is it a kind of, when we did the grown-ups reaction, Rob and the old lady situation? <laughs> by the way, if you join the Patreon, you'll get my uh, reaction to Grown Ups, Stand By Me, and the first Jackass movie, and the film Wonder with Jacob Tremblay and Julia Roberts, all for free. I mean, all included, regardless of what tier you join. And the next movie reaction will be to the Denzel Washington film, The Equalizer, because that's the film that's won the poll. There you go. Oh, I don't know, her heart stopped beating, didn't it? I don't know. I lived here not 50 days ago at the airport. <laughs> Lovely Beryl. Lovely Beryl. <laughs> I plan to spend the rest of my life with her, and now you tell me she is dead. Yeah, it is the inappropriate one. I was like, oh, give me that. <laughs> How did she die? Oh, and he gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> He's got a backside you could get lost in. <laughs> <laughs> you are a better sister? No, you cheeky bastard. You too ugly, you too ugly. <laughs> now, your English, very bad. The word is beautiful, it's beautiful. Do you are the sun? The sun, the moon, and the stars, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> so, how do you know her? I see Beryl in my bar. I give her oily olives and spicy saveloy. I know how to make the ladies happy. Mm, I'm licking me lips. <laughs> she has my name tattooed on most intimate part. I show you. Oh, no, that's not no. what she's written on. <laughs> not necessarily. I have her not. name tattooed on very long part of my body. I show you. Be cruel no. to stop him. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Woman, gay, straight. I'm all, I'm good. Thank you. Do you want to see Tom, by the way? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, how long is this part of your body? You can see it from here. Mm, no, get it out. <laughs> My chest is oh. long, no? <laughs> <laughs> I must see my name on her pretty Gavina. Oh, what? Her gav Chess is long, no? <laughs> <laughs> I must see my name on her pretty Gavina. Oh, what? Her Gavina. Her lovely pretty Gavina. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Did you phone the funeral director? Yes. Not very promising. Got a very stupid answer phone message. Lots of giggling in the background. Someone shouting out his head's on back to front. <laughs> <laughs> and how's my potential new boyfriend? <laughs> oh, you sad slapper. <laughs> you see, the thing you have to learn about hot-blooded Europeans, Linda, is that they don't mind a little bit of man-a-man -man contact. Oh, get oh, over English. it, Tom. <laughs> Every time he looked at you, his sombrero flopped. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I can speak Spanish. Listen to me. Diageme, dondo es medico homosexual. What does that mean? Excuse me, where's the nearest gay men's health centre? How's that going to help you? That's kind of a one-shot deal. <laughs>
<laughs> and also, if you go to a Spanish person and say, excuse me, where's the nearest gay men's health centre? He's going to assume that something isn't quite right <laughs> down there. So that'll ruin your chances immediately. <laughs> oh, Tom. <clears throat> Chico. Chico mi latino. Hmm? Live in Davida loca, por favor. <laughs> it has gone. What has, baby? My name. <laughs> Live in Davida loca, por favor. I'm on her intimacy. Oh. What do you mean it's gone? Oh. Diagame. Don't they ask oh. medical homosexual? <laughs> I know what she has done, Lindy. She has had the laces. She has had the laces. Oh. <laughs> shall I rub you, Pedro? Yeah, I'll rub you, shall I? Yes. <laughs> oh. Listen, Pedro, I'm <clears throat> sorry to bugger you, but I'm uh, sorry to bother you. <laughs> <clears throat> but, um, when did Beryl go to Spain? I'm so lonely. Oh. I'm so tired. Shall I? Yeah. Your yeah. face! I want to uh, see your face! There you Pedro, go. I'm sorry to bugger you, but I'm sorry to bother you. Good try, Nota! She's like. <laughs> but, um, when did Beryl go to Spain? <laughs> I'm so lonely. Oh. I'm oh. so tired from my fly. Tired? Well, come and lie down next to me. Come to Linda. <laughs> Snuggle your head in my bosom. I'm very maternal. <laughs> Tom, by the way, do come on bed too. No, there's not enough room. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of when I am little boy. Oh. Little boy blue, come blow my horn. <laughs> I sleep in bed with my brothers and sisters. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Each night is cold in mountains. And then we play. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. This reminds me of an exercise we used to do at drama school called We're All in a Tent. So come on, we're all in a tent and it's windy, so blow. <laughs> yes, and there's a goat outside who's escaped from the zoo and he's all licking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no comprendo, no comprendo. <laughs> no comprendo, no comprendo, no. I don't understand. We was at the airport only 50 days ago, and now she's dead. Stone dead. No, oh, no, 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 no. It's not days, it's minutes. Sorry? What? 50 minutes ago we was at the airport, and now she's dead. These... Uh... Wait a minute. When he came in and saw it was her, and blah, 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 after a bit, yeah, he said that she had his name tattooed on her Gavina. And then when he came in the bedroom, he said it was gone. And now he's saying it wasn't 50 days ago we met at, left the airport or whatever. It's minutes. What? Is it even her? We'll see what happens. I feel her presence near me. <laughs> Maybe it's her ghost. Yes. Her ghost. So there you are! Yeah! <laughs> this is the last time I carry a gun through customs. <laughs> so where have you stuck that bitch twin sister of mine? <laughs> <laughs> I should have clicked as soon as he said about the tattoo, but I didn't, <clears throat> you know. 
I mean, there hasn't really been any throwaway lines in this so far, up to this point. Oh well, never mind. Main thing is, Beryl's not dead. There you go, that's, that's a reason to be happy at least. Are they love bites? No, no, bruises. We oh. dropped her earlier. <laughs> oh, Beryl, Beryl. So good to see you again. It's such a relief. Yeah, we thought we were homeless. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we thought she was dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd died and gone to heaven when I met him. Nice, isn't he? Yeah, he's all right, in a sort of wailing kind of way. <laughs> so where have you been, then? Holly J. When I found out what she'd left me in her will, I cashed in a couple of fake gyros and flew to Funicarola, dear. <laughs> I lost him at Heathrow on the way back. So mm. you're a twin. I've got a boa like that, Linda. Have you? Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> I've got that jigsaw, too. Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> Pedro, bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Go on, leave us, then. We don't mind having a corpse cluttering up our through lounge. <laughs> oh, is it signed to the care? Oh, no. Oh, it's me. Oh. So. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jess, look. What? Come to her own funeral. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I can't do with her. Honestly, she's. I... <laughs> Tam Sue's. Yeah. Those are the levels we're talking about here, people. Tam Sue's. By the way, if you knew, you won't understand what I mean by that. So, stick stick around and you will. When I get my still game reactions from the channel that's been terminated back and I re-upload them onto the Patreon. And a couple on this channel. But I can't put too many on here because then they'll realise, oh... Same videos. Oh, he's back. Oh, delete him again. But she is. Pedro, can I stop? Pedro? <gasps> it's Pedro. He couldn't have gone to the service. Quick, let's get out of here. No. He's all tied up on the bed with a mask on. <laughs> what? Blimey. <laughs> Very much in proportion, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we should go. Uh, no, I've got to put this back in its rightful place. You go, I'll follow. Well, <laughs> 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 why are you getting mad? He's not gay. He's not gonna. Oh, Tom. You, you know, come on. You must agree with me on this. He's he's straight. I mean, yeah, he likes old ladies, which isn't, you know, it's not, in my book, it's not okay. It's not okay. I mean, yeah, fair enough. If there's like a 10, 15 year age difference between you, I mean, like, if the youngest in the relationship's like 25, not if you're 25 and she's 15. No, no, that's fucking wrong. But not if you're like 30 and she's 65, 70. No, that's wrong. But... Still, whether he's into oldies or not, he's still straight because she's a woman. So why does Tom think he's got a chance in hell? Explain that to me. He doesn't, does he? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> so why are you getting mad? Peril, Peril, is that you? Yes, dear, it's me. Who's been a naughty boy then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, there's no ending scene. Um, <laughs> well, 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 what an episode that was. Yeah, so they both come back from shopping. 
Return to the flat. There's a coffin. Oh, no, Tom thinks they've been burgled, so they go. To Tom's looking in the bedrooms, checking. Mm, not everything's okay. How's the living room? Uh, nothing. It's fine except for the coffin. What the fuck? Check it. Barrels in it. Funeral, you know. Funeral director with uh, just a pinball in there. No brain. Turns up. They use it as a coffee table, an exercise step up bench thing. Uh, for a magic trick, an ironing board, a ping pong table, coffee table. Then uh, Pedro turns up. Beryl's fella. Here she is. Wants to see his name on a Gavina. <laughs> I'll never get over that. Gavina. <laughs> it's almost up there with Borat's Virgin. <laughs> A virgin hang like sleeve of wizard. <laughs> um, yeah, very good episode. And then it turns out Beryl's not dead, it's just twin sister. So there you go. <laughs> but um, at the end, we discover that Linda has got special powers. She can imitate people's voices. So... This just went from a sitcom to a sci-fi. <laughs> or a supernatural something. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But it was a good episode. I enjoyed that. Yeah, very funny. So. It was good to get something um, recorded. Yeah, because it's been a while. I've been gone a while. I just didn't feel up to it, you know. Felt like shit. Anyone on the Patreon will know why. Um, <clears throat> But... Yeah, I just wanted to get something done and get back. So, I'm going to stop talking now and get this video uploaded. Um, but before we go, I just want to remind everyone once more time, once more time, one more time, please, to ask you kindly, please will you consider joining the Patreon because, as I said, this channel is, um, I'm being hosted by my friend. This is his channel. He's putting my videos on it. He's basically giving me the details to it so I can log in on my computer and upload on it and interact through it with you um but eventually this channel is going to get caught and deleted and so on and so on so um if everybody goes and joins the patreon at least when that happens we can all stick together i also have a facebook page um and a tiktok account but it's not the same on there so yeah join the patreon it's two dollars a month to join the patreon that's nothing i mean and that's dollars you know it's not pence so it's even cheaper in british money so it's probably about 40 40 pence a week if that i mean just go on google and find out what two dollars is in pounds i mean no One pound sixty one. So yeah, forty pence a week. Just about on the dot, forty pence a week. So it's nothing. So yeah, uh, if you join the Patreon, it would be very, very welcome. Um, we've got a few tiers, so there's something for everybody. There's a two dollar, three, four, six, nineteen, and eight dollar tier. Um, Every tier gets certain things, but when you get past uh, $6.90, when you get to these two tiers, you get everything. In the $4 tier, you get pretty much everything apart from certain exclusive things. Um, so in these two tiers, you get everything I put on the Patreon, and that includes everything that's exclusive to the Patreon. So that's things like full-length movie reactions, full-length TV episode reactions, music reactions that have been blocked... Um, if you are in these two tiers and you make requests, your t requests are done quicker. Um, also, you get an unlimited amount of request requests when you're in these tiers. Uh, and also, in this tier, you'll see you get free promotion of your YouTube channel or any online business or community that you own. Um, now, that was kind of a thing I had when I had the old channel. But it's going to be difficult for me to do that now. So I think the way I do that now is that I put it on the Facebook page. And I might just, you know, put an ad on it for like a pound. 
get it a couple of hundred people to a couple of hundred people and that'll be your promotion because you're paying for the advertising anyway aren't you so yeah i'll do that if you're in there <clears throat> but yeah they're the tiers so please do consider joining it really helps me out and we can all stick together on the patreon because google can't touch that so please consider joining anyway that's the end of the video guys so thank you for watching hope you're having a, uh, uh, i can't talk hope you're having a good weekend so far and i'll see you in the next video okay thank you again much love take care yorkman out